Hello and welcome to the Symbio video channel. The Symbio video channel is all about empowering the Symbio stakeholders, like the Symbio author, for instance, who creates and models processes. Beside the Symbio author, there are also other stakeholders like the viewer, the architect, the approver, the analyst, and the administrator. So let's have a look at the first video of the author. It's in relation to the creation of a process. Let's just jump into Symbio directly. When you are logged on as a author, you can first of all double check the competencies you have, um, your admin has provided you with, like in this case, it's both viewer and author competencies. In order to proceed, it is critical to switch the modus from the viewer modus to the editor modus, and you simply do that by clicking on the viewer modus, as you can see. Now, in order to create a new process, you simply go to the processes facet. And now in this example, as you can see, we have a main process called business travel. And under this main process, we're going to add a new sub process. So you simply select the main process under which you would like to add a new sub process. You just simply define the name of it, like submit travel expenses, and then you click on new, and that's how simply a new process is added. When you select the process in the navigation tree, you see on the right the detail content populated. Now you have the opportunity to maintain information on process level, like the ID or a description. Here under participant, you see the author is already maintained as that was the person who created the process. However, the responsible is missing, so the responsible could just be added here by adding this person by using the autocomplete function. And beside that, various other data can be maintained, like a key performance indicator, for example. A KPI which could measure this process could be the deviation to the travel budget. So you simply select this KPI here from the existing repository objects. And you see various other data can be maintained like a accountable organization, for example. So according to the same principle, you just here look for a org unit, which is relevant like human resources. And that's how simply information on process level can be added on the right in the detail content. So that's all in relation to the creation of a process. Let's just go back to the overview. The next video will be about the definition of a process and the next video um, as a whole for the next role will be, so the next series will be in relation to the Symbio architect who takes care of architectures like the process architecture or the system architecture. Thank you for having watched this video. Bye bye.